Yo, what's going on guys? It's Unboxingology here, and guess what I got? I have two special treats for you guys. First off, we have the Razer Basilisk V2, right? Check that out. Pretty fancy. And then we got the HyperX Cloud Alpha Pro, or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, I told you guys the weight would be worth it, and, uh... Yeah, you guys get to watch me unbox these in case you want, in case you want to buy one for yourself. So, we'll start with the mouse. The back of the box just says like there's eleven programmable buttons and like Razer optical mouse switch. Uh, yeah, whatever. And then uh, yeah, we'll just open it. It's got RGB, pretty cool. Um, it has tape. I'll be right back. Finally got the tape off. Um, ripped the box a little bit. Box doesn't matter. So if you just lift up this tab here, and then lift up this tab, but there's a little saying here. It says, for gamers, by gamers. If you can see that. You lift up this tab, and you lift up this tab. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Ooh. All right, so box is empty now. We don't need that anymore. And then there's a little little book here. Probably read that later. But then we got the mouse. Mouse is in this plastic case in a box. We got the cord here for it. It is wired. It's a wired mouse. So in case you were wondering, I'm sure you were. Uh, how do I take this out? Oh, okay. Just like that. Cool. Um, just grab this cord too. So we got it out now. Um, oh. Oh, I'm barely, I'm barely tapping it, guys. Guys, listen. Oh, that noise is oh, so good. You guys, you guys better see this. Ready? So. There's a little, oh, you guys know, you guys know, you guys know. So satisfying. Oh my God. And this is tied up, this cord here. Yeah, pretty, pretty nice cord. I don't think it would get any kinks in it or knots. So that's good. On um, the bottom, it says 20K DPI. I don't even know what that means, honestly. Um, then it, there's a resistance for the scroll wheel. Ooh. Okay. And you click it side to side too. So it's like a little button, you just move it to the side. Pretty cool. And you click it down, obviously, and there's a button here, here, two here, and I don't know where the other buttons are. It says 11, but, oh, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I don't know where the 11 says, but, yeah, anywho, you know, barely, barely click it, or barely tap on it, and it just, oh, it slides, it slides really nice, because you got the, you know, the guards here or whatever, and just, anywho, that's done, um, so that's pretty cool, um, might open this book, you know, it just says, thank you for choosing Razer, cool, and then, a book, oh, it just, oh, it shows the programmable buttons, okay, uh, oh, look at that, guys, we got stickers. I don't know what I'm going to put that on, but that's cool. Cool. Anyways, put that to the side, and uh, next one. All right, so the next one is the headset, obviously. I, uh, I needed a headset, so I was like, you know, Black Friday, savings, might as well get it. Uh, there's a tape, so I'll be right back. All right, that tape was very hard to come off, but we kind of got it off. 
Um, so you just pull up the box from the outer shell, just like the Xbox, and it, it comes in this red box. So, and I'm assuming this is the front here, and you just, oh, goes like that, and then, oh, and then you lift it up, it, oh, whoops, I think it's upside down, there we go, it's supposed to be like this, cool, this says, blah, 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 this says, quick start guide, I think there's the cable in here, and this little bag, and then, uh, some plastic covering the headset, you just take that off. And then you got the headset, so, um, so you got, uh, you got little things you can take off here on the sides. Ready? Oh, why is this harder? That wasn't that satisfying. It, like, stopped. We got another one, we got another one. And here we go. Yeah, it's alright, it's alright. So, uh, this is the headset itself. Very... Very durable, obviously, so if you get frustrated in any game and you throw it, it shouldn't break. You know, uh, metal pieces on the side, make it even stronger. The ear cuffs go in and out, like that. And the wires here, let me take that out. We got that out. Uh, there's things holding it, or is it these? So, uh, I'll be right back. All right, so we got it. Pretty, pretty long, I think, you know, shouldn't be sitting far away if you're playing a game anyways. And then uh, this here is like a, a mute button and then the volume wheel, if you can kind of see that. Uh, yeah. But I'm gonna try this on. Oh, actually, so this cord actually unplugs. It's not wireless, it's it's wired, but it just unplugs in case you wanna bring it somewhere. So on the inside here, it says like left ear cup and right. All right, let's test the comfort. Oh God, we're gonna have to, so here we can adjust it. Oh, here we can adjust it. We just lift it up and it comes up. No, I mean I don't think my head's that big, but I don't really know where it's the same at. But there we go. Oh God, no, it's too. That's too big. All right, pretty good. Um, how do I look, guys? I think I look pretty, pretty uh, professional, professional gamer. Um, so, right away when I noticed, when I put them on, they are a little bit noise canceling. I don't know if they are, like actually, or it's just the big ear cuffs, ear cups, whatever. Um, but they are no a little bit noise canceling. They yeah. are very comfortable. Uh, I barely feel them on my head right now. That's pretty cool. So if you game for a couple hours at a time, you shouldn't shouldn't need to readjust them at all. So they they fit my ear pretty good. You know, big ear cups. Uh, the padding is nice and soft. It's so light. You know. Yeah, very durable. Like. Just holding this. I don't even need to like flex it or nothing. Just holding it, you know. Just really feels durable. So, um, where's the mic? Oh, yeah. The mic is in here. So you just clip it on to this one, I think, here. So there's a hole here for the cable that you plug it into whatever you're using, and then the microphone. I think it just goes like this. Pretty sure. 
Yeah, it should. Oh yeah, it pushes down. So. And then it's very bendy, so very bendy. So if you just like, you know, put it up to your mouth and stuff. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Gosh, this is awesome. This is awesome. I recommend this already. Like I haven't even used it, and I recommend it. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, the box is empty now. There's just another piece of plastic. Just take it out and then it's empty. You could probably use this box for something. It's a pretty nice box, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to throw it away. Anywho. Guys, that is the end of this unboxing. Actually, no, it's not. I forgot to see what's in here. I don't even know what's in here. This is really big. I think this is... I think this is for the headset itself. What is this? I don't know what this is, but you guys might well crap this thing here. These two. I don't know. But yeah, so that was the HyperX Cloud Alpha Pro headset and the Razer Basilisk V2 mouse. Let me actually put some resistance on this. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's nice. Anyways, uh, Thank you guys for watching. And in case you like my videos and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Peace.